Once upon a merry time, during the season of Christmas, the streets of a certain town bustled with crowds of people and vivacious laughter as the season's warmth unfurled into everyone's delighted hearts. Everyone but Ethan. Bah! Such nonsense! Ethan was a young man who lived alone in his apartment. Being so, he had grown to be bitter and sad deep in his otherwise kind heart. <laughs> What's merry about Christmas anyway? Why, sir, it's a lovely time. The beautiful lights. Waste of electricity. The delicious sweets. Cavities are a nice gift. Ah, uh, what about Santa? A made-up story for children. Completely non-existent. Huh. Oh, a lucky scratch on this package. Why don't you try it? Ethan was most disinterested in this, but the cashier was so insistent that he finally submitted. Well... You've won a cruise to Noel Island! Ethan had never heard of such an island before, but left wondering. Hmm, well, might as well enjoy the cruise and sail away from the preposterous celebrations. So, on the evening of the cruise, Ethan walked up and around, grinning eagerly. Away from all the silly Christmas frolics! A heated pool. An all-you-can-eat-and-drink buffet? <gasps> a trampoline room? Amazing! Um, sir, that's for the younger ones. Oh, I knew that. But while walking around, he noticed the entire ship was decorated. Ugh, even the ship is all Christmassy. It is. Hmm, I can't wait for the party. Party? The cruise's Christmas party, of course. Everyone knows about it. I'm Lady Anna. And I'm Yolly. Uh, I'm Ethan? Just then, Rudy, Old Tom, and Snow joined in on the conversation. Don't forget our real reason for coming here. Santa needs help. Santa? You do know Santa, right? Maybe he's just forgotten him. Oh, it suddenly got cold. Oh, I do that sometimes. Ethan was surprised at this group of people. But as they started to chatter about the Christmas party, he quietly crept away. Finally, some peace! I'll just try to enjoy this cruise and ignore the jingly stuff. <laughs> the night soon arrived, and with it, the party. Woohoo! Isn't this funny, then? <laughs> Won't be long till we meet Santa, boy. I'm so excited to meet him. Mmm, this isn't chilled. Oh, mmm. Thanks. Hey, where's Ethan? Ugh, all that noise. And Santa, they can't possibly be talking about an imaginary man in red whose beard is l Oh my goodness. Ethan's eyes widened as a huge, magical portal opened before him and slowly swallowed the entire ship right in. Oh, oh, where are we? Before his eyes lay a humongous island decorated with simply the most gorgeous bells and lights possible. That's it! Noel Island! The passengers descended, and Ethan was completely baffled with the place. This island looks strange, doesn't it? Rudy? Yikes! You, you, you know, it's glowing! And about time, too! 
Suddenly, Rudy turned into a magnificent reindeer with a brilliant glowing nose. You're... Why, I'm Rudolph the reindeer. And one by one, the others too turned into magical creatures of Christmas. Lady Anna turned into La Bafana. Yoli turned into the marvelous Yule Cat. Snow transformed into the Snow Maiden and Old Tom into Tomten. I... I must be dreaming! Hi, everyone. I missed you at the party. Jack! Uh, you're Jack Frost! How? We've told you, Ethan. We've come to help Santa. But before Ethan could react, a torrent of jingles and laughter hailed everyone's attention. Oh, 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 oh. Santa! And there before everyone's eyes appeared Santa Claus, much to Ethan's disbelief. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to Noel Island. Believe us now? Come along to my mansion. This, this isn't happening. Ethan? <laughs> you can't be real. <gasps> I'm still on the cruise and I am dreaming. <gasps> You're not dreaming. You're one lucky human to get here. <laughs> lucky? I only wanted a relaxing cruise. Ho, 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 ho. Come, join us inside. But Ethan stomped his feet and refused to believe that everything he saw was real. Look, I'll take you home on Christmas Day. Now you can either come with us or stay out here. And Ethan, not liking the idea of spending the night alone in a strange place, decided to go with them. They were soon inside the great mansion. There were little elves everywhere, carrying colorful boxes, fixing toys, and checking lists and lists of presents. Ethan, you're finally here! <laughs> Come, help us with the toys. Um... Or with designing the wrappings. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's better. Ethan still wasn't happy about being surrounded by a Christmas atmosphere. Uh, no, thank you. I don't really like Christmas. There isn't any use in gift giving or any of this. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. Is that what you really think? Well, we won't force you to do anything you don't, uh, believe in. And so Ethan stormed away. He knew he was stuck there until Christmas, and he just had to bear it. Mr. Claus, uh, wasn't that little Ethan? Yes, but he's all grown up. <laughs> Ethan wandered about the place, watching the elves working along with the Christmas creatures. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Be useful. La la, Christmas is near. Merry Oh, oh dear, I think my nose is broke. While he walked about, he came upon Tom Ten, tying up boxes with ribbons. Ooh, me poor back. I wish the others would help, but they're all busy. Ooh. Now Ethan was a kind man. And when he saw Tom Ten struggling, he couldn't just sit by and watch. Uh, well, let's continue. Huh? The boxes? They're all wrapped. In this way, Ethan helped a little here and there. However, being a stubborn fellow, he didn't let anyone find out about him. But secretly, when he saw them smile, he too smiled warmly. On Christmas Eve, Ethan wandered around the passageways of the mansion. Hmm. Oh, that's Santa. At least that's who he says he is. Hmm. Ethan peeked in and to his astonishment saw a huge glowing globe with many children's faces upon it. Mr. Claus, these children haven't sent us any letters, but we can still hear their wishes. 
Please, Santa, let my family have enough food for next year. Dear Santa, I hope my mom and I get a warm bed for Christmas. Oh, there are so many. I'll never get all the presents wrapped. He really is Santa. Those poor children. No wonder he called for help. I hope all the presents get wrapped. But as the time for Santa to leave came closer, many presents were still left unwrapped. Oh dear! There are too many! Well, I can't give some children gifts while depriving others. I've decided not to give any at all. Ooh. We can't do that! We never had a Christmas without gift giving before. I. I'll do it! Uh, I guess. You? How? Well, I. I'll come with you. And while you deliver some presents, I'll wrap the others. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Let's do that! Hooray! 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 As Santa got ready to leave, Ethan felt sad that he would leave the merry company he had started getting used to. We're so glad you could help us today. And all these days, too. <laughs> what? Ethan! Um, I'm happy to have met you all. Uh, bye! Soon, Santa and Ethan were up in the air. They went from home to home, delivering the many beautiful presents all over the world. What's in that? A sack of grain with a special blessing. The family will have a good harvest next year. Ethan watched as Santa worked leaving small and unexpected gifts before leaving the various houses. There you go. Now you'll both be happy and warm. Soon, Ethan and Santa had successfully wrapped and delivered all the presents. Thank you, Ethan. And now, as I promised, it's time to take you home. Oh, yeah. Home. Ethan was silent as Santa reached him to his house. Well then, Merry Christmas, Ethan! <laughs> well, I'm back! Merry Christmas, Ethan! Merry Christmas, Ethan! Oh! Ethan was extremely astonished to see his room brilliantly lit and decorated amidst the smiles of all of the Christmas creatures. <laughs> we wanted to surprise you. Have we? I, I, uh, cat got your tongue? Oof. They led him to the table which was set with a wonderful Christmas feast. <laughs> Christmas really is merry after all! And so, he and all his new Christmas friends enjoyed a very warm and happy Christmas together. Mama, look! These are for you! Aw, oh, you're so sweet, Ethan. You just forgot the happiness and love one feels on Christmas. I only helped you. Remember it. <laughs> and to you watching this, remember to celebrate this and every other year. Not just by opening the glittery gifts you receive, but by opening your hearts to love and joy and mainly spreading it. Truly, that is the greatest gift to be shared. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you! Ho, 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 ho!